Hi everyone, welcome to the start of a brand new series um, and in this series I'm going to be playing some Stationeers. Um, it's a game that I've not played for quite a while. There's been a lot of updates since I've last played this. It must have been, in, I don't even know, nine months maybe, maybe a year. And so there have been a lot of updates and reading through some of the updates on Steam not sure I'm clever enough to play this game anymore, um, but I'm going to give it a go. Um, we're not going to play this with any kind of aim. We're just going to solely just enjoy it, try and figure it out again. And all being well, I may play on some of the other planets. But to start with, I am going to play on the moon. Um, I want to make a bit of a space station, become self-sufficient, all that kind of thing. Um, Last time I played this, I did not know how to, well, I still don't know how to do any of the the coding in game. I'm not sure what language it's using, but I may do some research and try and figure that out along the way. So as I said, I'm just going to jump into the moon. Um, beginner, so we should hopefully find it pretty simple. Gravity is 17%. Uh, every 20 minutes at 88 degrees uh, I mean even this feels more than it was before I'm pretty sure when I last played it the Sun went overhead but I might be wrong but let's jump in um, let's not go too easy so the moon's pretty straightforward I think but we're gonna just go for normal I'm not going stupid and then yeah let's just let's just enjoy this game um, this isn't going to be a one life series. Um, obviously, it would be nice if I didn't. I can't remember the buttons. Uh, oh, okay, left click. Um, obviously, I will try not to die, but um, we will we'll see how that goes. Um, okay, so E is to swap hands. Isn't oh, Alt to click? Okay. So we need to build a bit of a base. Now, if you're, if anyone's watching this and you're looking to this for um, some kind of advice on how to play the game, um, don't. That's that's not what this is. Um, I'm probably a very bad teacher. Um, I just want to try and get back into the swing of this game. Where do I want to build? I don't really want to build in the crater. I need to get sun. So I could do a start here. I don't really know what my plan is going to be. Um, whoops. Okay, so we need to get this at least somewhat welded. I need my iron sheets. Uh, let's put you in there. Put my walls there and then... Okay. Uh, what? Oh, got to put my left, well, fill my left hand with the sheets. There we go. Whoops. So I'm just building this just to a point, not all the way, because I don't know how many iron sheets I'm going to need. Um, okay, don't we start with doors somewhere, I think? Pretty sure we'll have doors. Is it those? Yes. Um, okay, so what kind of doors do we have? Um, we could go for the manual hatch, I guess. Um, I mean, I guess it makes sense in case we run out of power. I'm just going to put some more iron frames down. I want to have a nice, spacious area inside. So that's going to leave me with... Which way is the sun? The sun's over there. So if I do one more... So that will kind of leave me... Uh, oh, too close. I can't do that. Okay, that's fine. So then what we'll do is do the 
what will be the airlock. Okay, so if this, I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, the sun is going that way. Um, have they changed? I have I've, oh, maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe I'm getting confused between this and Space Engineers, but I seem to recall that planet being closer. I mean, I assume that's Earth. But yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Um, okay, so then what we'll do is, this is quite a big space. Do I need a space this big? Or do I just put some iron, I'll, you know what, I'll, I will make this a bit smaller. I don't think we need a massive, uh, how do I rotate? Uh, oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, you can also do C as well. Okay. See, we're learning. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is no different to how it used to be, but it's just been that long. Uh, go inside. And let's pop you here as well. And then for the roof, um, do I just go frames again? Maybe I do. Okay, I need to go and retrieve some of my frames from out there. I remember you need the grinder for this. And there. Whoops. There we go. Right, let's pick these frames up. There's, we're not putting these here. Okay. So I will get that welded, but right now I need to figure out power and that kind of thing. But obviously we're going to lose sunlight, so I'm taking too long on this. So if we were to weld up the top, again, it doesn't have to be complete right now until I know what I'm doing. But I need to put a solar panel up ready for tomorrow. Okay, we're done. So I have a solar panel. Let's put you there. So if the sun's coming this way, then I guess what makes sense is to... Oh, yes. Okay, you have these at angled, can't you? So if I put you... Wait, where's my entrance? This side, isn't it? Yep, okay. So if I put this here... Uh, rotate you... And then, okay, I think this needs glass, which we do start with. Okay, we have our solar panel. Next, I want to put this glass down. Might as well chuck it inside. Oh yeah, I need to get these welders as well. Uh, where's my water gone? It's probably a uh, shortcut keys as well to move things between your hand and your inventory. But I just don't know what they are and I can't bother to look right now. Uh, one thing I am going to do though is I'm just going to flatten this side out. So I don't have any problems trying to get into that door. Uh, let's put you there. Get the welder out. There we go. Now we can just walk on through. Just walk on through. Wait, huh? Oh, went through the window. Or what will be the window. Okay. So next, what do we have? So we have the auto leave, which is uh, the crafting, well, the initial uh, printer. So everything in, I mean, I don't know why I'm telling you. I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you know what station is. is and you probably have a much better idea of how to play it than I do. Um, but on the off chance you don't, uh, the auto basically everything in this game you kind of 3D print. Um, you you get your your iron, your all your materials. There's gold and silver and all that kind of thing, 
and then you just make them inside machines. Um, I want to put the furnace outside. Um, I don't think it matters which way I put that really. Um, but yeah, and then if again, if you if you are new to the game, again, I'm I'm kind of the wrong person to be teaching anybody, but you have to worry about your gas mixes so you can't just i can't help open my helmet i need to pressurize a space and i need to fill that with a breathable atmosphere which pretty sure is oxygen and hydrogen no wait nitrogen i don't know i i i yeah i'm like i said i'm not clever enough for this game um We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. The game has a kind of like a built-in Wikipedia almost. Um, I hope it's better than it used to be. What do I need? Warding torch and plastic sheets. Um, it used to be a bit finicky. But I'm pretty sure with all the updates they've had, they would have improved that. And then, yeah, that will tell us about like all of our mixing and pressure and all that kind of uh, fun, juicy stuff. So we will figure it out when we get to it. Um, okay, I know that we need an APC. Um, yes, you can scroll. Which way is, is that? Ah, no, nope, that's wrong way around. Um, let me. Ah, I remembered it was the drill. There we go. That is the right way around. So what we'll do is... Oh, do I want that that way? So this is an APC. I don't know why I'm teaching, but here we go. Um, basically, this allows you to kind of store a limited amount of power. I think it also restricts power going through it, although I, I don't know that for sure. And you can use it to turn off like large grids of electric it's got like a uh, master control switch that kind of thing and then obviously at night if we obviously we're not getting solar panel solar power uh, we can this will store a battery in there and we'll have a little bit of like emergency power which will eventually run out the, these batteries do not last long but it is better than nothing why is it flashing is that because it's not connected to anything? Yeah, okay. So if we run this down here. There we go. So this now, I can turn on. Um, but we don't really want to leave it at that. So what I want to do really is bring this cable up. Uh, I don't like putting them through the frames, although sometimes you may have to. But yeah, so now we can run this cable up here. Uh, not there. Uh, where's the click point? There we go. Bring that round here. Okay, there we go. So now in the morning, we'll get some from the solar panel and it will go into our APC, which will hopefully keep our base powered. Um, but obviously I've only got one machine plugged into that. I do need to put more. So what I want now is, let me quickly get some additional welding going. I do not have enough, so I'll have to make some more iron sheets. So we'll just do all of this. Okay. So I now have a way of crafting. I need to get my furnace outside connected to power. And the reason I've put that outside, and I assume this hasn't changed, is that these furnaces give off uh, gas as a byproduct. And we don't want that in our breathable atmosphere. 
So we, you leave it outside and just pollute mop, uh, the moon, I guess. But there we go. That's now connected as well. So if I turn that on, I see. I thought that would drain a little bit. Just got a bit of passive power, but maybe not. But there we go. We can now smell ore. So that's the very basic setup. Now I do. I would like to get things in here. I know on the other planets you get weather. On the on the moon, there's no atmosphere. There's no weather. So we've got it pretty easy. But what I want to do now is I want to go mining. So, if I put that in there, get the mining drill, and we are looking for iron or I can't remember what else there is. So, I don't think we need silver straight off the bat. We want iron. I think we need gold. And what's the other one? Oh, copper? Yes, copper. Okay. So... My aim to start with is to try and make a pressurized space because I don't think, and I'll need to test it, that on normal difficulty you can drink with your helmet closed. And I'm currently on 29% water. So where is my water? Okay, yes. Helmet is closed. So. <clears throat> Obviously, we cannot open the helmet up on Mars. That would be a big mistake. So let's just hope we can um, get this as a sealed container relatively soon, shall we? So once it's done the iron, um, I will pop some copper in, get some iron sheets made. Cause is that what these need? Yep, iron sheets, and we're also going to need... Uh, glass, but we've got glass in here, so we're okay for that. So let's put that in there. Got some iron and some gold. And this goes into the side of the machine. So now we can craft. So if I go for iron sheet, and let's just make a, a handful of those, we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't know what these doors need. Um, Let's have a quick look. I think any tool. Oh yeah, 13, 14 iron sheets in total we're gonna need. 10, 11, 12. Oh, there was a trick with this. If I click that arrow. See, oh, it stops, that's still, okay. So I, when you're crafting, if you move, so these arrows will change what the machine's gonna craft. Um, or you can use the search button. If it's crafting something and you click the arrow, it will finish crafting the one item it's doing, and then it will start waiting for your input again. Um, I'm glad that they still do the last still in the game, because I used to end up crafting loads of the same thing, which you you just you really don't need if you haven't really got the resources. Okay, so then I can weld the hatches. So do I just turn, okay, quite nice, it's a nice door, um, okay, so I do need to seal this, but, 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 um, I don't want to use this welder inside, I want it to pressurize space, it would just ruin what I hold, or what, what, what atmosphere I have in here, so ideally, um, what are these things called? Um, printer? Ah, oh, okay, electronics printer. So I need some of that copper. Uh, you can just do that. Okay, that's good. So let's put you there, get you going again, take the copper. So I think there's three machines. Um, you have the electronics printer, which we're making now. There's the auto leave, which obviously we're using. And then there is. Hydration critical. Oh, you're gonna have to wait. And then there is a, a pipe machine, a pipe printer, I think it's called. <clears throat> Maybe not pipe printer. I don't remember. Oh, uh, hi hydraulic printer. Maybe. 
uh, that's my generator so this just uses combustible uh, solid fuel and will generate power so as a worst case scenario we can always use that um, I really need if I can I mean worst case scenario I think don't you start with some medical supplies some pills magic pills no uh, oh I thought you started with one oh it's, it's in my inventory so I think if we really really had to I could open my helmet I could drink um, get a little bit of whatever you would call it trying to breathe in like freezing well nil temperatured nothing I'm pretty sure that would damage us in somehow or damage us somehow and then we can take the pill to cure us cure ourselves cure ourselves I don't know what's going on maybe I've got space brain um, and then hopefully we'll have a pressurized space ready for the next time we need to eat or drink that's a point actually um, if we're going to damage ourselves we may as well eat food at the same time and not waste our pill come on I'm going to run out of power before you finish this machine um, do we have storage crates in here oh what's that there Ooh. lockers yes we do uh, right, so locker. Ugh. What do I use now to take that down? Is it the drill? It is the drill. There we go. Now I can put items in there rather than just making a mess on the floor. So let's grab you, put you there. Food and water. There and there. Boom, electronic sprinter. So let's put you over here turn you off so what's this going to need I'm guessing it's gonna want iron sheets yep it does so if we go iron so I think it'll only be two of these and then we need cable coil uh, I don't know what's next so the welder again plastic sheets put those in my hand and then last we need a screwdriver and as you can see this is why I'm not pressurizing the space because my welder would be causing a nuisance in here okay so now I need to get this connected so if I just run this across to my already placed cable there we go now I think we can use this one and what's it called pipe HYD huh what was the was it in this one pipe bender there we go I need iron so uh, I need more iron uh, the, let's chuck some iron into here take that copper <clears throat> so once I've got the iron then we can get that one going not sure my power is going to hold up I'm pretty positive I'm going to need to take that pill well because I'm going to have to drink water shortly come on it's not iron very quickly there's my iron so pop you in there I'm hoping the power holds up. If that goes red, I'll swap it out with my suit battery. So as a emergency backup, let's get these two batteries. Uh, pop them in there. And now wait for that. I don't want to turn that machine on because I need to not be using more power than I, I, I should at the moment. I'm not exactly drowning in power okay I need to stop that really annoying beeping so I'm going to very quickly open my helmet uh, what button is it to open my helmet I don't know oh I need to unlock the helmet and then, is it J nope uh, oh I okay let's see if we can do this quickly pressure critical 
Oh no. I hit the wrong button. No, wait, what? Okay. Let's try that again. Once my guy's got his breath back. Pressure critical. Oxygen critical. Quick, 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 now I'm not thirsty or hungry, so you know, take what you can get. Didn't even need the pill, so all is good. Um, once I've got this machine up, like I said, I'll get this pressurized. We'll put some vents up, uh, specifically here because we need an airlock. Otherwise, every time we open this, we're going to lose all of our oxygen. Now. You used to be able to drop a specific ice on the floor, warm it up. I think I think it's actually this one. Um, oxide. Yeah, I think it was this one. Hang on. Let's put my mining belt in there. So I think this will make it cold, but we can breathe what this gives off. It's not a long-term solution, by any means. Eventually, we're going to want to make plants and provide carbon, uh, carbon dioxide, and let the plants convert that into oxygen. But to start with, we will just chuck some ice on the floor and let it melt. How much have I got? That might be enough. You know what, I'm not going to do loads and loads of drilling. And we're going to put that in there for now so it doesn't melt. Almost done. Oh, we're almost out of power. Uh, you know what, I'm not going to put one of these in my suit. I'm going to do that. Okay. Let's get this one hooked up. So we need to be able to get round to that machine. Can we get round here? Yeah, easy. And this is going to be the same thing, isn't it? It's going to want iron sheets. Iron sheets. Probably two of. And if I had to guess, the welder. Cable coil. Uh, what was it? Plastic sheets. And finally, a screwdriver. There we go. Now, if we just rejig this, I don't have enough cable. Ah, I need one cable. I think we can make cable in there, but we're going to do it in this one because that's where all of our copper is. Cable. I only really need one. <clears throat> there we go. So let's put you there. Okay. Very nice. Um. Right. Next thing I need to do is the airlock. So because we have no atmosphere out, well, because it's a vacuum out here. We only need a simple airlock. We only need a vent. Because basically what we need to do is, let's say we're inside the base. We go in here. We close this door. We need a vent somewhere that we can toggle. Let it take all the oxygen, whatever we've got out, and put it into the room. And then we can come out here. And then when we're coming in, we can just solely just do this. We don't have to even touch the vent because it will just oxygenate that bit anyway. So, do we have an active vent and a passive vent. We've got an active vent. Um, I could make an automatic airlock, but whilst power is an issue, I'm not going to worry about it. No, do we have any pipes? We do have pipes. So we'll take that. What's that? Sensors don't need you. Battery charger will take. Don't need you. I don't think we need the pipe valve, but let's take it anyway. Okay, so let's, 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 let's put our battery charger down somewhere. If I close this door, where can I put it? 
I mean, it can go there. And then I could I could put me uh, my batteries in there, like so. And I just need a cable just to hook that up. So let's do this. Uh, turn that off. Just, just turning that off just until it gets daytime, and then I'll put the big battery back in there. Let my one solar panel charge it. Um, that's the point actually. Before I do the airlock, we've got time now because of our water. Maybe we should make more solar panels. So, are they made in this one? Power low. They are not made in this one. Is it this one? Solar panel basic. We have other solar panels in here, but we're just going to stick with these ones for now. Iron, gold, and copper. Uh, okay. So we can hit this lever. We can get all of our ingots out. So if I just turn you off and save the power. How many solar panels can I make? Just one. Let me keep these doors open for now. There's no point in closing them. And let me get some more iron smelted. So copper can go in there. Oh, thinking about it, actually, that's going to drain me by putting that uh, furnace on, isn't it? Yep, we're about to lose power. Put you in there. Uh, boom. Okay, if we run out of power, we run out of power. We'll uh, actually, no, 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 that's not what I need to do. I need to quickly make cables. All my copper is in here. Oh, no, hang on. I can use that one to make cables, right? It is an electronic sprinter after all. Cable. Right, quick. So if I run out of power, it's fine. But we need to be able to hook up more things. Right, we'll save it like that. Okay, so let's get some afternoon sun um, so we'll bring this across here and then round of course I didn't make enough cables why would I make enough cables be silly uh, I need one more cable please thank you wire cutters and I need to go get some glass where's my glass oh it's there there we go we've got two solar panels now very nice so pop you in there you in there um okay don't know why I've closed those. I want those open. So that's going to charge. So I will put my big battery back in there now. Um, okay. So I do need some more iron. Let's see if we can make one or two more solar panels. That is not the solar panel. Oh, yes, so we can make, if I think about it, so I've got one there and one there. So if I do one, two, and then two in the middle. So if I go for another four, which I've got enough material there, then that should be okay. That's taken a long time, though, to make. So let's, 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 let's go and do some mining. Definitely going to need more gold eventually. We 100% need more iron. That's copper. We're not desperate for that right now. So I'll grab this uh, vein of gold. Why aren't I picking that up? Oh, because you have to put this in there. There we go.
So we want to find iron. I think I can see some just there. Oh, and some here. that will do us for now oh it's still doing that flickering thing that is annoying as hell I don't know why it's doing that um, I will look into that before I do the next episode I'm not sure what's causing it So let's get some more iron. Well, we'll do the gold first. Because again, gold takes a while. And we have iron. Oh no, I didn't turn this off. I've just used all my iron. That's fine, I guess. Five solar panels just means more power. So if I put you there, you there. And you, I might as well make one more at some point and make it even. Uh, I need some glass. Oh, and I'm going to need loads of cable. So there's my glass. Um, you know what? You make as much cable as you like. And then when I get back, I'll turn you off and we'll see how many you've done. put you so you'll have to just stay on me and what I will do is I'll turn this off let's do iron next go put you into you I can't get to the hole Okay, I don't know how much cable I'm going to need, so let's just leave it at that for now. And bring you down here. Okay, let's go see how many of those solar panels I can get hooked up. We'll, we'll start on this side first. That's where the sun is right now. Go. 
this very quickly. Just turn this charger on. So we'll just store as much juice as we can before the sun disappears for the night. Oh, we made enough cables. So there'll be one there, and there's that guy there. Okay. Not sure what I'm going to put down the middle, but I could just put more solar panels. We've got more iron. One second. Let's do that. Pick that up. Right. Happy to make one more solar panel. That is not a solar panel. That is a solar panel. Right, so we'll click the arrow and that won't make the next thing. So that's fine. Oh, look at that. So we're pretty much full. So what we'll quickly do is put that in there. Power critical. Oh yeah, damn. Let's put that back in there. So the sun now will hopefully put a nice amount of charge into there. And we're pretty much sorted on the power front. This is about done, so we'll just do this now. Uh, I'm going to need my glass. I need to turn the sensitivity of my mouse down, I think. It's too quick. So you go there and have some glass. There we go. Eight solar panels. That's got to be okay for a while. So now that we've done that, I think what I'm going to do, let's get all my windows sealed up. Why is it doing that? Why do I have horizontal lines, but then here they're vertical? I don't understand. That's going to annoy me. Is it because I was looking up? No. How do I... Do I have to do it at the bottom? Huh? Oh, you know what? I, I, I'll just try and ignore it. I don't, I don't know. Okay, so if we said that was going to be like that. Oh, yeah. So I need a passive vent. Uh, I need some of my iron. So let's get you out of there. <clears throat> Turn you off. Pop you in there. Make me a passive vent. Okay, so a passive vent um, basically allows the f the flow of gas to just it will just run through. There doesn't need to be any suction. It will just basically it'll balance out. So. If this door was closed and I put a passive vent in there, that's a sealed room, this is a sealed room, but both rooms would share their, their gas. Um, so you can use this as intake or out. Take outlets? Yes, in inlet or outlet. An active vent works in a similar way, apart from you can force it to push or pull. Um, so because we're working in vacuum, it's pretty simple, but if, if you were on a planet, then you would need to obviously you'd have another one here sucking outside one would suck out what you got in here then this one would input the gas and etc etc but we don't need to worry about that right now so we can just connect those two up like that put the pipe there and now i need to power this guy up so i'm going to need some more cables so let's get some more cables made don't know how many we're going to need, so just go at it. So we're going to go there, there. And then what we'll do is we'll run it round here, connect to this point here, because this is basically our, this is our input to the, to the entire base for now. This is our input cable, this is our output. What we need to do is not connect this one to this one, because you should never create loops. Um, I know that much, but that's about as far as my electrical knowledge goes. Whoops. So if we use a corner, 
a straight. Let's just close this door for a second. Uh, and then I have to come down, go across, go there. So this should now be powered. Uh, I can't remember which one it is. Should that be set outward, set inward? So set inward means it's currently outward. That should always be inward, right? And we will test it. So we now have a sealed room. We don't need, is it definitely sealed? Got all the glass in. Uh, all the roof is welded, all the floor is welded. This room is welded. So I think we can get some of that ice and drop it. Uh, oh, it is obviously nil degrees. So that is not going to melt. Let's see if we started with any flares. I don't think these give off any gas, which doesn't make sense if they don't, but is what it is. Uh, how do I drop that? Oh, there we go. And then if I drop some ice, do they not give off heat anymore? Oh, damn. Do I have to put a couple down? Oh, I'm sure they used to melt ice. I mean, it makes sense that they don't because there's no atmosphere in here. Um, hmm. What I can do, whether this is a good idea or not, so this is my waste tank. If I open this. Oh, there we go. Uh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Now I need to get these out before it starts cooking in here. Basically, what I've just done. So your waste tank is whatever you expel. So you take in oxygen and you breathe out carbon dioxide. Um, there is obviously some temperature to that. And we'll just leave them in there. So that's allowed us to get, we've now got a 10 degree uh, temperature in here, up to five kilopascals. Um, so now our suit is currently at 91, which makes me think that we need to be getting this up to a bit more than this. 10 degrees probably isn't that bad, that's not cold. Um, but if we drop more, some more of this ice in, it will be cold. So let's just drop it all. That should start melting, which it is. And down here you can see our temperature. Let's open that because we need some heat in here. There we go. So our temperature is building. Our ice is melting. So our pressure is going up. I don't know what a good pressure is. I'm going to assume in the middle is where we want to get to. So if I drop some more of this. I don't know if that's too much. Uh, and so what's happening here is this is this is these lines represent the gas moving throughout the the area. So obviously the gas in this block is trying to balance out with the rest of the blocks in this room. So that's what you're seeing there. That's just gas moving around. Uh, all of our ice is gone. Okay, and that has put us onto a steady six nine kilopascal. So. I should be able to unlock my helmet. <gasps> I can breathe. Look at that. So now we can drink without dying. And I can eat without dying. So it's a good day. I need these to stop. I don't want it to get too hot in here. I don't want to be sweating my socks up inside my suit. Um, but what we'll do... Let's close that. Let's do that. And then what we're going to do is... Oh, yeah, let's test this. So if I do that... Right, the pressure in here is building. So that's the right way we want it. Um, so if I open that, it'll balance out. 
turn that off. So where it says set outward, that's what will happen if I click it. So it's currently set to inward, into the vent. Not into the room, into the vent. Uh, it's going to get too hot in here. You know what I could do? Uh, let's turn it on. As you can see, the pressure is dropping in here. And then we can open this door. And now I can throw these flares out. Don't need you anymore. You've done your job. Go over there. Go and call for help from somebody. And then when I'm coming into the base, I don't have to worry about this. To be fair, I could just turn that off now. I can just open this door. Obviously, the pressure will stabilize between the airlock and... Where's that just come from? Ah, uh, it's only one. I think we'll be fine. Um, but yeah, so there we go. So we have a working airlock. So we've got our machines. Outside we've got our furnace. And we have a breathable space. Now I can assess what my gas mix in here is using this tablet. Uh, which does not have the card it requires so if I close this so I'm going to have to remember to do this whenever I come out here but this is fine and then we turn it off to save power gear out of here so I think we'll have a chip or whatever they are yeah um, Atmo Analyzer let's put that into the tablet so if I use it out here you can see there's nothing there's no liquid there's no pressure, no temperature. But if we go into our base, there you go. So you can see we've got a mix of O2, a mix of N and and CO2. So that's oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide. So as long as, well, I don't know actually what the perfect mix is for breathing, but we've got plenty of oxygen here, so I'm not concerned. So for a while we're going to be okay. So our next issue is going to be the old water. Uh, let me just unlock this helmet for now. Uh, why can't I? Oh, because there's no water in there. no pressure let's open the door so we we're one bottle of water down we have two more in here but what we do have is we have a liquid canister of water so we can use that to bottle well we, we can bottle that water so what we're going to need to do is make a quick setup where we can put in ice and there is a uh, there's a water ice I think I think it's like a um, a very whitey bright kind of blue so uh, what's it going to be called it's going to be in this one I think isn't it so if we go water bottle filler I need copper and a silicon I have not found any silicon yet so we're going to have to go out mining again. Uh, you go there. Do, do. It's quite nice as well that you've got an atmosphere so you can hear the door. Obviously as you would do it would be echoing. Whereas if I turn the vent on and bring the pressure all the way down to nil. Now you can't hear the door, which obviously makes sense. And it's it's such a simple thing, but it's just, I don't know, I, I like it. It's, this game is, they've tried to make it as close to as it would be in real life, I guess. I mean, obviously it's still a, a long way off real life, but <laughs> it's not bad, not bad at all. And from what I can gather from the, uh, the updates, they're trying to make it as realistic as possible. Um, well, I assume so. So there was some kind of, I think they called it the phase change update. And I mean, there was a lot of stuff said on that and I don't really understand most of it, but 
from what I gather, um, they've now introduced a way for gas to convert into liquid and liquid to convert into gas uh, or solids. Oh, my, my, my jaws ran out of battery. Um, which I assume is, well, obviously it's realistic, isn't it? I mean, you you have water, you freeze it into a solid, then you can do that. If it gets to a certain temperature, it will evaporate and become a gas. Um, however, we need to figure out how that works. So we'll be trying to learn on the way. You know what I should probably do? I should probably make a way so I can reach this furnace without coming outside. Uh, so I haven't got much silicon, but hopefully it's enough to get us started. Is that ice water? No, that is more silicon. So from what I remember, it looks like the silicon from a distance. Um, oh, that might be some right over there. Oh, let's turn the drill off, save the battery. Shadow, way, way. I'm a very, very short man. Uh, this is just called ice. Oh, ice water. Okay, there we go. So yes, it's this very, very, very bright or light blue. So we're gonna need some of this, and this will keep our thirst going. Oh, it will keep our thirst under control, I should say. Now, that has not given us too much. Is there any more? Yep, here we go. Come on. So let's just head back to base. So obviously if we can get to a point where we can bottle the water we get from this ice, then jobs are good and that's absolutely fine. But we don't want to uh, be relying on that. So, and I don't know how to do this, but there is a way of creating water, I think. Uh, I don't need to press that by doing some clever stuff with gas, I'm pretty sure. Um, but that's a bit ab above me right now. So I'm not gonna worry about that. We're, we're absolutely fine for power, by the way. So there we go, look, that's recharging. So all is good. Our solar panels are doing their job. Um, oh, wait, I need to go out there. I need the silicon. I really should get some shoots and just have the furnace kick out into shoots. Let's turn you off for a second. Oh no, hang on, you can make us some iron actually. Okay, so make me nothing because I need some copper. Now you can make me a water bottle filler. Okay, so that we will put somewhere. Um, I don't know where. Uh, I guess we can put it here. Oh, it's doing that light thing again. I don't know if you look, can you just see that flickering? That's going to annoy me. I need to, I do need to figure that out. Um, does this need power now? I don't recall this needing power before. Hmm. Don't know. But anyway, uh, that's that. So I can put my bottles in. There we go. Oh, it has a switch now. I don't recall that being a thing. But I need to get this connected to power and then also to a ice crusher. So let's get the copper out of you. 
Wait, that's not my copper. That's my copper. I need you to make me some more cables. We've got pipes. Uh, so what do we need for an ice? Is it a crusher? Ice crusher. Iron gold copper. Air tank low. Air tank low. Uh, oh crap. She's not lying. Uh, okay, let's sort this out. We have a... Why is that going down so quick? So we have a... Well, you start with a big tank on your lander. So let's take that inside. It's just there, look. So if I pick this up... And we'll take this inside. Uh, how do I drop it? Oh, Q. There we go. And then I can just pop this over here for now. Nope, wrong button. And then on the top, we can chuck this in. Air tank critical. There we go. We've now got plenty of pressure inside our oxygen tank. I still don't understand it's going down very quick. Maybe that's just normal. I don't know. But yeah, we need to sort out oxygen. But we can kind of connect that to this setup we're going to be doing here. Um, so what did I need? I needed iron, gold, and copper. So let's put you in there. Get my copper out of there. Put you in there. Ice crusher. So whilst that, I'm waiting for that. Let me pick up these cables. Don't need to make anything else. And let's get this connected. And just for the sake of being tidy, I'm going to just bring... Oh, wait, hang on. Um, well, it's what it is. Two, one. Ugh. Oh, sorry, I've got more cables. Crisis averted. There we go. So you now have power, but you're complaining because you are not connected to anything pipe-wise. So, this is the ice Oh, we can see in it now. Could you always see it? No, I think that's a new addition to, since I last played. Um, okay. So, what do I need? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is going to... Um, this is going to toxify my thingy my bob. I'm going to need to sort that out. Um, okay, I need some iron sheets. So the welder gives off fumes and I, I'm going to end up breathing it in if I have to open my helmet in here. So I will need to get rid of that. Once I've built this. I don't know how many of these I need. Let's make another one. Okay, that was very quick. But chances are we just put something nasty into the air. Yes, so as you can see here, we now have this pollutant. Now, I think in small doses it's okay, but it's got to be like very small. But I don't want to risk it. So we need to clear out, we need to get that out of the air in here. Now we're going to sort that out now. Because. I'm on 36% water and I don't fancy breathing in anything that's going to kill me. Now, I think we start with a scrubber. Portable scrubber, there we go. Um, and the way this works is it will suck in the atmosphere around it and you place filters inside of it and you tell it what you want it to kind of hold on to. Well, I don't know if it holds on to it, it's like got some internal tank, or if it's just like, I don't know, I guess looking into the filters. I'm not sure. But I need to make filter. Um, pollutant, and what is it? It's just iron. So let's get my iron out of here. 
and make one pollutant filter. So if we pop that into the back and then turn this on, we should see. Okay, so it says the pollutant's gone, but you have to, like, in the corner of the room, there's a little bit, look. Because it's getting sucked into the middle of the room. So it's gone out of this block. It's gone out of this block. It's not anywhere in here. Okay, so that might be it. And it's not going up in there, so we can safely assume it is inside. Okay, so just to test it. I mean, we're not dying, so that's a positive. Let me drink and eat while my helmet is open. There we go. And close the helmet so we don't forget. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yes. Ice crusher. So we need cable coils. And that's a nice, easy one. So now what I want to do, and this is, is going to be a bit ugly, but I need to connect... Wait, what? Oh, wait. There is a different kind of pipe, isn't there? Uh, we are dealing with fluid, so we want fluid pipes. How many are we going to need? One. I don't know. That's the pipe. So the liquid's at the bottom. So we're going to need one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay, and then one, two, three, four, five. I don't like the fact that I can see it in the glass, but it is what it is. So now I need to get the ice crusher connected to power, which is easy because it's just here. There we go. Go away. Go away. So if I was to uh, wait, 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 wait. So, the next thing we want to do is... Obviously, if I put ice into there, there's no effort to go apart from inside the pipes. So, that's not great. Uh, why are you not working? Oh, because there's no water in the pipe. Uh, so, let me... Split one of these stacks. Now if I turn it on. Uh, I don't understand. Uh, that's melting in my hand. But yes, me <gasps> wait. wait. Wait, wait, wait. What? Water can melt in your hand. Ah. Oh. Oh, it's, uh, it's got foggy in here. This must be the phase change they're talking about. Um, how do I get that out of my atmosphere? Or do I now just have a permanent fog here? And also, why was that not filling the water bottle? I don't understand. So it's, hold on, what's the temperature of that pipe outside? Right, oh there's still, oh we've still got temperature but no pressure in here. Is that the water vapour? Okay, now it's nil. So, if we open this up. And then go and check out here. <laughs> Look at the fog in there, it's weird. Huh, there's nothing in the pipe. Why would there be nothing in the pipe? We were just crushing ice. Uh, 
pipes in there. Um. What? Would you wait, why is that not? Um, so you used to put ice water in here and then it would go out. Oh, we've got water in there now. Oh, it's working. Take that long for it to crush the ice. Wait, what's H2O? H2O. Uh, H2O. H2O is water. Oh. We have. A gas form and a liquid form of the water. Uh. Oh crap. I've run out of power running that. Um. Okay, one second. I don't understand. Um. <clears throat> Right, water. Water. You can crush water by smelting and crushing ice water using a furnace or an ice crusher. Water is critical for plants to stay alive and grow food. It's also exceptional coolant with a very high specific heat capacity. Water will evaporate into steam if its temperature is raised above its boiling point. Well, it's only 30 degrees. You can't boil water at 30 degrees. Uh, what does this mean? boiling a hundred it's not how can it be evaporating at 30 degrees oh now there's huh hold on I don't understand what's happening uh, I don't understand what this graph's telling me so pressure and temperature what's the, what's the what's the blue line mean Is that, so does that blue line represent, oh, I don't know. Condensation pressure, max liquid temperature, boiling temperature. Oh, so it's not boiling, it is still condensing. Freezing temperature, zero degrees. So is this gonna, slowly sort itself out or am I going to lose I don't understand um so obviously I've got water in here as well which isn't great um I How do I get that out there now then? I need to figure out. <laughs> God, there's a lot more things in here that I am not used to. 
Uh, what is half of this? Uh, there's okay. There is a lot of stuff in here, uh, and I don't know what half of it does. What the hell is an umbilical? Rocket man. Ah, oh, okay. We're not. We're not bothered about the rocket. Uh, I search for liquid. <laughs> Uh, passive oh my god there's loads of different ice as well what's a passive liquid drain moves liquid from a pipe network to the world atmosphere well I don't want that expansion valve allows for moving liquids from a liquid pipe into a gas pipe it only allows liquids to pass in one direction. Typically, this is done to allow the liquid to evaporate into a gas as part of an air conditioning loop. What's that noise? Okay, we're getting power back, are we? I see. Uh, I'm also missing a battery. Oh, yeah, it's in here, isn't it? Um, no, it's fine. Uh, so we don't want that. Condensation valve. Allows for the removal of any liquid from a gas pipe into a liquid pipe. Allows for the removal of any liquid from a gas pipe. So that's not the issue either. Pressure valve. Pumps gas into a liquid pipe in order to raise the pressure. Oh my god. Okay, if anyone's watching this, uh, I would appreciate any help in the comments. I'm going to try not to use Google. I want to try and do everything. The only thing I'm going to Google, if I have to, is the coding. Um, but I'm going to try and stay away from any videos to do with stationers. And just want to see if I can figure this out. But yeah, if anyone's got any idea as to how the hell I get this working then I would absolutely Power low. love you. Passive liquid drain? No, that, that's the one that moves into the atmosphere. Purge valve. Allows for removal of push wind gas and evaporated liquid from a liquid pipe. Similar function to the back push regulator, the purge valve moves gas from the input liquid pipe to the output gas pipe, aiming to keep the pressure of the input at the target setting. So we can connect our liquid pipe to this and get all the gas out. <clears throat> but what I'm struggling to understand is how am I supposed to keep it at a low temperature but not freezing so that I can actually use it for water? Or is 30 degrees just too warm? Because for me, I don't think I don't think it should be. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe thirty degrees is enough for water to do what it's doing. Um, so it can condense at zero degrees. So that's obviously that that is just that. It's always gonna even outside like that outside is is it's maximum temperature anything past that and it will start condensing i don't want steam evaporated water it can be created by raising the temperature of water to its boiling point but it's not boiling though when introduced into a pipe steam will condense back into water if its temperature is below its boiling point steam can create by combusting volatiles and oxygen but i don't understand because that's saying it needs to be its boiling point but it's not at its boiling point. It's 30 degrees for God's sake. I 
I don't know what this graph means either. Um, what's this? Does this mean frozen? I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand why it's done this. Um, waste time caution. Oh, bite me a waste time. Bloody caution. Uh, open. We're not wasting the CO2. So will this condense back into water at some point then? And also... Okay, this isn't flashing anymore, so maybe there just wasn't enough. I need to sort that graphic out. Maybe there's just wasn't not enough water in there, but I don't really understand. Nah, I don't know. I I I don't know. If I do this, why are you not? Oh, now we've got 305 moles. Oh, no, that's not that. That's that. 2.75 litres of water in there. So, are we? can we say that you're always going to get a bit of gas, maybe? So, if I drink some of this now, is this working? I don't know. I could be here all day trying to figure that out. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments how the hell I'm supposed to stop it from fogging up in here. And that would be greatly appreciated. Well, for now we've got water. We've got power. Whoops. Just tripped over. Um, and we have oxygen. Let's close my helmet so I don't forget. So one thing we need to do next is we need to start looking at our source of oxygen. Now, I should be able to put oxide into this. So that is an I that's that well that's a plan. Um, I don't really want to put oxygen into this because I'm concerned that can you get like ox can you get water well a liquid form of oxygen. Yep, you can get liquid oxygen. Liquid oxygen introduced into the atmosphere will quickly evaporate back into oxygen. I don't understand these graphs. Uh, okay, fine. Um, maybe what I need to do is create another ice crusher. So let's move you over here for now. So if I create another ice crusher, keep it completely separate to this and have that so I put my oxides in one and my water in another. So let's do that. Ice crusher, gold and copper. Uh, I think I put them over here. I did. So gold, copper. Okay, so we'll make another one of those. And then we need to make a canister and a cash uh yeah, and a canister kind of holder thingy with Bob. You're in my way. Oh wait. Oh, I can just pick it up. Fine. Right, if I put this ice crusher here. Oh, I'm going to have to weld again. Uh, right, was it one iron sheet or two iron sheets? I think it was one. Oh, that was not work. There we go. Now I need to turn you on, please. Because I've just toxified the air. Yep, so I have some pollutant in this far corner. Q. 
Here, Mum. That's barely any pollution. Come on, get rid. Ah, it's gone. This corner. Yep, gone. Nothing in the airlock. Nope. This corner. Gone. Good to know. Uh, we don't want you. We want you in there. And then you can go there. I think we need cable coils. Okay, and then the gas one is up here. Um, so if I bring this round. Okay, so I want to make a canister thingy, my Bob. But I need a canister. Okay, canister, check. And then I need the, uh, what's it called? I don't know what it's called. The canister holder thingy, my Bob. Uh, what's it called? G gas. What's this? Let me check what this is. I, 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 don't, I don't know what this is. Um, but I don't, there's a... I can't remember what it's called. There's a thing you can put a canister in. And then it acts like a... Uh, act like a tank. So you can get it to like the wall and that kind of thing. But a lot's changed on this since I last played. Oh, it's that. Gas tank storage. But now you've got... Inline tank gas. Inline tank small gas. And the gas tank storage. So if I put you there, uh, you know what I should do as well? I should make some kind of valve. Uh, no, what's it called? Gauge? Nope. Uh, nope. What's it called? This bloody... There's a thing. This is one of the... Oh, meter. There we go. Meter. So if I put you there, so that will tell me how much pressure we get in there. Now, uh, what am I doing? I want to put oxide in there. So, uh, where's my oxide? I thought I had it in my, oh, I melted it, didn't I? Damn, okay, let's put it in the outside. It takes a long time to get rid of that water vapor. That'll do. Right, uh, let me get my drill. Uh, I need some oxide. Wherever it may be. That's silicon. What's that just there? Oh, is that a green one that I saw? No, what is that? Oh yeah, that is that green one I saw, nitrice. Nitrice, nitrice. Oh, got some here, here we go. getting some of this for testing. I don't really need loads of it. My god, look at the mist. Okay. So, I'm just going to 
Uh, can I split this in here? Split half. Uh oh. No. No. Get in there. Wait, where's it gone? It was in my hand. Oh, I melted it. Oh yeah, and before I do anything, I need to power this, actually. That would be a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna put six ice in there. That went very quick. There is no, nothing in there. Huh? Wait, what? The ice crusher is holding on to... I don't understand. Okay, so maybe the ice crusher needs to hit a certain pressure before it will output into anything. Is that right? So I've got 3 MPA. I can't remember how much these canisters can hold. Uh, let's have a look. CNI STER. Canister. Canister. 8,000 KPA. Uh, we will need to stop. We're about halfway there. The pipe network is 4.96. That's got 4.96. So the pipe balances out with the canister gas thing. Whoa, stop, stop. stop. Oh, crap. No. Don't want you in the atmosphere. But. Oh, so now it has balanced out. So. Let me quickly look at the stationpedia. Ice crusher. Compact. It produces gas or liquid depending on the ice being processed. The upper outlet is gas, the lower for liquid, and while you can attach any pipe you like to either outlet with it only function if the equipped network is attached. Also only pass gas or liquid into a network if it's powered and turned on. If it's full, it will not hit any further ice until gas or liquid contents is drained. In this state it will flash yellow. Doesn't tell me anything about why it's not output outputting though. Um, but irrelevant we've got some stuff in there now um, just out of curiosity so I'm going to open my helmet so I can breathe let me drop this Air tag critical. so my oxygen my canister is pure oxygen but I didn't think we could breathe pure oxygen so if I was to take this out okay so it's not erroring or anything and now I've put nitrogen into there. But that's fine. Uh, okay. I mean, it, it's working. I don't really understand it all that well. My power is not holding up. Let me turn some stuff off. Although, there's nothing else really draining power. So what's going on? Why am I using so much power now? Uh, yeah, I don't know. So the APC is going. All my machines are off. Everything in here is off. And yet I'm still draining quite a lot of power. I don't think the furnace is on. Nope, that's not going. Is it off? Low pressure. Oh, no. Pressure Forgot to close my helmet. Sorry. Uh, just get rid of the vapor, I guess. I don't really want it. Oh, yeah, so I left you on. Whoops. Now I can open my helmet. Right. Um, 
Well, I'm going to just keep this vapor in here forever now. That That is what it is. <sighs> so, we've got... F well, we now need food. And it is bloody hot in here. It's 35 degrees. Um... Okay, so how do we cool? We can just make a wall cooler. Which can only raise temperature. The wall cooler function by drawing heat from the surrounding atmosphere and adding it that heat into its pipe network. In order to run the wall cooler properly, you need to connect pipes to the wall cooler and further connect the pipe network with any type of gas. The gas's heat capacity and volume will determine how fast it reacts to temperature changes. Ugh. The higher the difference in temperature between the gas door and the pipes and the room, the less efficient the wall cooler will be. The higher the difference. So if it's really hot but then in the room but really cold in the pipe, it'll take longer to cool. So to keep the wall cooler running at its efficiency, you need to get rid of the heat that accumulates in the pipes connected to it. A common practice would be to run the pipe to an outside and use radiators on the outside section of the pipe to get rid of the heat. The less efficient the wall cooler, the less power it consumes. Okay, I mean, for some cheap and nasty cooling, I think we will do that. Um, so, that's going to be made in here. Wall cooler. Let's get one of those. This is not efficient on power whatsoever. Um... Um, what am I going to connect it to though? Like what, what kind of gas is better? Uh, coolant. Nope. Okay. Pollutant. Nope. Uh, okay. Let's just go for water. So water is a good thing for me to put the heat into. So I could expel the heat into the pipe, maybe, but this only connects to gas. Whoops. So if I, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so if we, what kind of pipes have we got? So what was there? There's a passive liquid drain. Moves liquid from a pipe network to the world atmosphere. That I do not want that. Allows for moving liquid from a liquid pipe into a gas pipe. It only allows liquids to pass in one direction. So that moves liquid from liquid to gas. Um, that's not what I want, is it? Condensation. Allows for the move of any liquid from a gas pipe into a liquid pipe. Uh, hmm. What's this? Uh... No, that's like a back pressure regulator. Mm -mm -mm. There's a lot of stuff in here. And I don't know what I'm doing. Liquid drain valve. What does this do? It does not tell me. Liquid. Oh, liquid digital valve. It still doesn't help me. I still don't know what it does. Uh, what else we got? Liquid volume pump. Uh, are we better just looking in here? Because this will give us everything, won't it? To a point. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I need to. don't understand I do not understand what I'm supposed to do and also didn't the war caller say you get to pipes to the wall and fill blah 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 blah, blah. yeah so it has to be gas um, power critical. oh my god shut up with the power critical thing um, you go there you go there and you can charge yeah, okay. Uh let's 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 move this. I don't know how to do this, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put you here. We're gonna connect a pipe to that. And then I need some cables. I need some copper. Uh, you go there. You have got some copper inside, so give me that sweet, sweet copper. So I, we're just gonna play with, with fire, I think. We need to just figure it out. Figure out if something explodes, why it exploded, and kind of go from there. And let's just hope we have some luck okay so in theory I should be able to turn that on it will suck heat out of this out of this uh, room and put it into this tank that's what I'm understanding so if I so what have I got at the moment? I've got 34.8 degrees, 19.4 in the tank. 34.7, 34.4, Okay, so it's cooling down, but now this is getting hotter. Okay. So that's how we can cool the room down. But... I then have the issue that that is getting warmer and as it gets warmer the pressure is also climbing so I can only put so much heat in there and it's going to take a while for this room to equalize there must be an easier way of doing this but this is a cheap and nasty way Power low. so if I was to turn you off now Will you cool down or is that heat just in there forever? No, it's cooling down. And the reason it's cooling down is because that pipe is outside. So, and it's obviously, it's freezing out there. It's nil degrees. So, I could... Do they still do the... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Do they still do the radiators? Kit pipe radiator. I need gold and steel. Nope. Uh, what else have we got? Anything? Or are we just doing what we've done here and just leaving it for now? Okay, we may be leaving it for now. Uh, what am I doing? I want you there. You go in there. Actually, what we got in here? 34.3. It's still pretty warm. And this is going to just take forever to cool down anything. So that might not be the best system to use, really. I mean, I could leave it on for a bit. But I assume it's going to drain our power like nobody's business. Let me get the battery out of there. Ah, 
how are we looking? Where's my tablet? So it does work. It is cooling, but obviously our pressure is climbing in there. Uh, so we can't let that get over 8 megapascals. Is that, yeah, MPA, megapascals, I think, is what that stands for. And KPA is kilopascals. Okay, we'll leave that off for a little bit. Have that do its, uh, have, it, have it cool down for a little bit. Um, so I'm going to get a drink wherever my water, oh yeah, I've got water in here. Okay, so water's still working, which is fine. So that's not frozen or anything in that pipe. Uh, I need to go outside and get rid of that. Um, but you know what? I think that's enough of my moaning for today. Um, we've got a, a room which we can breathe in, which is something. We've also made a start on trying to learn how the, uh, the liquid and gas and solid system is working. Um, I don't really have a clue how it works. I don't know why we're going through our auction so quickly. But as as time goes on, hopefully it'll be something that we pick up. But yeah, any comments, uh, leave them down below and I will I will read them all because I would like to figure this game out but without Googling. So I'm going to try and use this in-game Stationpedia and anything from the comments. So yeah, let me know and uh, I'll see if I can figure some stuff out. But thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Take care. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.